the Public Administration and Appropriations Committee, PAAC, heard conflicting accounts on Wednesday regarding the sale of a beach property in Ocheria, St. Anne. PAAC Chairman Dr. Wickham McNeil says the premise for the $7.2 million US dollar sale of rooms on the beach property was not a bad one. However, based on a report from the former Contractor General, Dirk Harrison, there are some inconsistencies that have to be clarified. Based on that, it became a, a public discourse which has caused, in the words of the letter from the persons, from the, the from whom, um, Petra Karib, they have indicated they're not going to proceed because of the public furor. Harrison's report had stated, among other things, that the UDC was unable to negotiate freely and from a position of strength on the sale. So the previous valuations had been for the lands only, and the, I had already given you that figure. The conversation continued around the beach, and then the beach was valued afterwards separately. All right, so let me, let me try and clarify this. You're saying that the $7 million that was offered was for the two parcels of land? Was for the land. Only. So the valuation that you had of 9.3 million average yes. price, the offer for that was 7 million. Yes. The hotel lands, lot six, the garden and the access areas. And then subsequent to that, UDC was asked to include in it. The beach. The beach, which was valued at? 3.55 million. And what was the price offered for that? The offer of 7 million was increased by 200,000. So the full offer was 7.2 million for the land and the beach. And that came in September. So, so, so with your permission, Chair, the price, the land without the beach was $7 million. And the, you, that was the offer, yes. That was the offer that was on the table by the proposed purchaser. A valuation was done by UDC for the beach, and it was 3.5 million. million. yes. So it's a 3.5 value that you had, you were seeking to, to, to realize, and, and the price that you accepted is in effect 200,000. Yes. So you would, have, you. you would have given up, you mean in the UDC, mm -hmm would have given up $3.3 million. 3.3, yes. UDC negotiating at the time with the minister gave up $3.3 million. No, you asked if the UDC negotiated with the minister, but I don't know that. No, yeah, I don't know that. that that was stated anywhere, yes. And, and the general counsel is saying that that's not an accurate um, statement, yes. UDC General Manager Heather Pinnock explained that additional benefits outlined in the sale agreement affected the final price. The offer also from the developers, Puerto Carib, to support the larger development um, plans, the larger development plans, and in, over the several phases, and also that it, it looked at the overall impact of the, of the investment, including the development, as well as the employment and construction. So all of those things here are part of the, con and also that special agreements, special conditions were put on the sale, that if these things did not come to be, that the property could be retransferred. So those were some of the things that were considered in the agreement of the sale price. Based on the negative public discourse regarding the sale, Petro Carib Properties Limited, operators of Moon Palace Hotel, has since signaled to the UDC that it wants to rescind the land sale agreement. Ms. Spinnock shared the contents of the letter. In their letter of March 5th, um, Palace Resort said, while whilst we were engaged in the preparation of plans for the construction of the hotel, it came to our attention, much to our displeasure, that our name and brand were the subject of political discussions inimical to our reputation in which sufficient care had not been taken to ascertain all of the facts surrounding negotiations with the UDC. 
We are careful at all times when we do business, both in our homeland country, Mexico, as, as in any other country we invest in, to comply with the laws and regulations and not to become involved directly or indirectly in the political process of these countries. We seek to be good con and considerate corporate citizens of every country in which we invest, and the adverse pub publicity, both locally and internationally, given to the acquisition of land and buildings by us from the U UDC, has caused much discomfort and to seriously rethink whether or not Jamaica is a suitable place for us to make a substantial or indeed any further investment. Committee member Mikhail Phillips argued that the first submission included the U.S. $200,000 for the beach property, which pushed the total to $7.2 million. Responding, Audrey Sewell, permanent secretary in the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation, noted that the omission of the additional sum in subsequent documents was an administrative error. 